Hello again. Okay, I think it's time we continued to practice our reading. So now I want to look at, let me see, this one, all the poetry in your Dance Shoes for Gigi book. Okay, so there are a lot of poems. I might not get them all in one video, but I'll try. So we'll start with Splash. Splash, said a raindrop as it fell on my hat. Splash, said another as it trickled down my back. You are very rude, I said as I looked up to the sky. Then another raindrop splashed right into my eye. Another rhyme about rain and we had a lot of rain yesterday. Okay, rain, and Burger's doing a little rain dance, look. There are holes in the sky where the rain gets in, but they're ever so small, that's why rain is thin. And that's by Spike Milligan, he's a very famous poet. Okay, sometimes for some of these rhymes, I'll pause so you can copy me. Um, but I will just read most of them through. Okay, tickling. Oh, who likes tickling? Mm. Depends on where the tickles are, but normally I don't really like tickling and you should always ask if it is okay and you should always be asked because sometimes it just hurts. All right, tickling by Teresa Hine. He giggles and squeaks and wriggles and cries and curls and rolls and screws up his eyes and squirms and squeals and shouts and yells and screeches and begs and bangs his legs till mum puts her head round the door and says, Stop tickling your brother! <laughs> okay. Kisses. This is a problem when you're small and cute. It could be a small cute puppy or a cat. It could be a small, cute, a cute, squidgy grandchild. And it's still a problem. All right. A kiss, a kiss, give us a kiss. Because I am small, they go on like this. Everyone asking me to kiss them. No more kisses. And I won't miss them. Okay. I think this is a really good one for you to copy me, so I'll say a line and you copy it. And it's called, My Dog is Not Like Other Dogs. Okay. My dog is not like other dogs. He doesn't care to walk. He doesn't bark. He doesn't howl. He goes tick tock, tick tock. Are you copying when I point to you? Okay, next verse. He beeps each day at half past nine. At noon, he starts to chime. I have a strong suspicion. Fission. That my dog can tell the time. Another dog might run and play. Or smother me with licking. But my dog just annoys me with his beeping and his ticking. Should you decide to buy a dog? Consider my remarks. When looking for a watchdog, get yourself the kind that Barks. Woof, woof. Okay, that's by Ken Nesbitt. Next drawing, just listening. 
Snap crack is the name. All right. Snap crack. Munch a tea munch. Dino the dinosaur is having his lunch. Run, run, never look back. Don't become Dino's next little snack. That's by Richard Kali. Okay. A sea serpent, just listening. A sea serpent saw a big tanker, bit a hole in her side and sank her. It swallowed the crew in a minute or two and then picked its teeth with the anchor. Anonymous, that's a bit of a sad poem. It's also kind of weird. Don't worry, there are no such things as sea serpents or Loch Ness monsters, but there are giant man-eating squids. Isn't nature wonderful? Okay, now you can copy me for this one. Let's Stretch Up Tall by Linda Hammond. Let's stretch up tall like a lighthouse. Let's curl up small like a snail. Let's spread our wings like a seagull. And then be a boat with a sail. Let's gallop along on a donkey. Let's go for a swim in the sea. Let's dry ourselves all over. And then have a picnic tea. Okay, back to listening. All right, I didn't write this, but I could have, and you could have. Anyhow, this is by Jack Prelutsky, and it's called, I'm the single most wonderful person I know. I think it's going to be funny, but it has great describing words in it, great adjectives. All right. I'm the single most wonderful person I know. I'm witty, I'm charming, I'm smart. I'm often so brilliant, I actually glow. I'm a genius in music. And art. I don't have a pencil. I'm super, I'm splendid, I'm stunning, I'm strong, I'm awesome, I'm dashing, I'm bold. I know all the answers, it's rare that I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm an absolute joy to be held. I'm strikingly handsome, I'm thoroughly grand, I'm categorically clever. There's only one thing that I can't understand. Why nobody likes me. Never. <laughs> well, why wouldn't you like someone like that? They're a show off, a big stinky show off. It's good to be proud of your skills and be delighted with yourself. But gosh, don't be showing off. Not every single second. Maybe I'll just stick to witty, charming, smart, brilliant, glowing, genius in music and arts, splendid, stunning, strong, awesome, dashing, bold. The good kind of bold, that means brave, by the way. Okay, you just feel good about yourself, okay? Uh, hmm, this isn't fair. Lots of daddies are awesome cooks. Anyway, I'll just read it and you don't copy it because daddy might not like to hear that. Daddy's making dinner is the rhyme's name, okay? Daddy's making dinner, I've seen it all before. French fries black and burning and meatloaf on the floor. Daddy's making dinner, the sugar roll just broke. By the way, the gravy in the house is filled with smoke. Daddy's making dinner, but I'm not one to moan. Soon he'll surrender and go pick up the phone. Daddy's made the dinner, today's my lucky day. Dinner's in the trash can and pizza's on the way. And that's by Jeff Mondak. Who does that remind us of? Let's see. 
who was making dinner and it was rubbish and it was burning and they had to get their phone and get pizza. Oh yeah, it wasn't any daddy, it was Winchilla. All right, next one. Turn the page. Hello. That's it? What? I was having so much fun, I can't believe it's all over. Okay, so that's it for now. And another time this week, let me back out of this. Um, another time this week, I am probably going to uh, read uh, Camper Van Fun and a few other things, maybe stories that I just happen to really like and bits of music and things like that because actually our year is almost finished but I can do loads of this and you might like it and then next year's kids will like it and everyone will benefit and I will too because the more I practice reading things at the computer the better I get. Um, this week when I've had a little bit of spare time in the evening I've been practicing hard but I don't think I'm doing a great job to see the well, it might be hard to see on the computer, but I've given myself a little bruise because I'm kind of kind of leaning it against my hand a little bit. But um, let's see. Okay, I don't even know what that song is. I just leave it off. I started actually trying to play something else, and I went wrong, so I changed it into something new and that's the best way to deal with a mistake if you make a mistake don't panic just change it you might make something nice okay have a great week um i will be zooming with you soon and we can talk to each other so that's really nice isn't it i'm gonna end this i have to go and give buddy the dog a bath and do you know what i think buddy needs to come and help me read camper van fun to you. What do you think? Is that a good plan? I think it's a great plan. He is a very good boy. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon. Bye.